In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how we are going to make a Blender UV Unwrapped CubiCraft character. So you want to go to the CubiCraft website and then you want to go ahead and download the, um, the graphic associated with it. Um, I have downloaded for this example, it's a Goku character. So here's the image that I'll be loading into uh, Blender so that we can actually model it and UV unwrap it. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and split my window into two. And then I'm going to make one of my windows a UV image editor. So there it is there. Um, I'm going to press Shift C and get my 3D cursor at the center of my grid. Shift A and I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a cube. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load in the background image. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that you're not in a perspective view. You have to be in an ortho view or orthogonal view. So I'm going to press numpad 1 to get me into front view, numpad 5 to turn off perspective view. Okay, now I'm going to press the letter N as in numeric, and that's going to open up this toolbar on the right-hand side. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and I'm going to widen the toolbar so I can see th so the, the text. And I'm going to activate background images right here. I'm going to check that on. I'm going to open up background images, and I'm going to say add image. I'll then go ahead and choose open, and I'm going to go navigate to where the image was um, downloaded. So for me, it's my desktop. Okay, I'll double click, and there's the image. Okay, so some things that you will want to know how to do. You're going to want to know how to change the opacity of the image. Um, if you leave it at full opacity, so a setting of one, it's going to be really hard to see your modeled geometry on top. So I recommend um, 0.5 or less. Uh, for this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and maybe make it 0.25, so like 25 percent. Okay, next. Um, I'm going to model the head in this tutorial and you can see that it's rotated at an angle here. So here at the bottom you'll see that there's a rotation slider and if I rotate that you'll see that the texture um, does rotate. So I'm just going to eyeball it here and I'm going to type in there we go there. Um, so my number that I typed in right here, 48.5 degrees, that might not work with every single image. So you might have to do a little bit of experimenting. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and press N and close that now. Now what I need to do is I need to be able to see through this object. So I'm going to press the letter um, Z and that's going to get me into wireframe mode. Now if you have the pie menu add-on, you just press Z and then you choose wireframe. If you don't have the pie menu add-on installed, you can just come right down here and you're going to see this little pop-up menu um, and you just choose go from solid, go to wireframe, and there you are, you're in wireframe. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to grab the cube, place it right here on his face. I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to go ahead and deselect. Okay, um, so now what I need to do is I need to check you always want to check from three angles. I'm going to check from the front view, the side view, and top view. So in front view, I'm going to box select and grab some vertices. And I'm going to go ahead and just move it down on the z-axis. And there we go. Again, box select. And do that. Box select all four sides. Good. I'm just checking the width right now or just fixing the width. There we go. Okay, so the width of his head is good. Um, for a little bit of extra checking, I'm going to take my, um, I'm going to split the 3D view into two, and I'm going to make my top view be perspective. I'm going to press numpad 5 to get back into perspective view, that way I can see it. And I'm going to make my um, top view be back in solid view, um, that way I can really see the object. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to make my top view actually be in texture view. And that way, um, when I get to UV mapping, I'll be able to see the texture. Okay, so now I'm ready to go ahead and the front view looks good. So now I'm going to press numpad 3, and now I'm looking at it from the side view. So I'm going to go ahead and select the whole cube, and I'm going to slide it over here to the side and check, just use it to check the uh, dimensions. So I'm going to deselect, 
I'm going to box select and I'm going to grab this. This is actually the front of his face. So I'm going to click and drag it over here like that. Okay, so I'm going to press A and just look at the edges, look at the boundaries, and you can see that it is in fact matching up. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the top view. So that's numpad 7. So when I do numpad 7, you'll notice that it's not um, over the, the, the top. So I have to physically move it. Um, and like we talked about in class, but it's a good reminder, your cube does not have to fit over all three faces at the same time. So here's numpad 1, and it's fitting over the face view. Numpad 3, and you'll notice, you'll, notice, you'll notice that it's on the side view, but it's not fitting over the side view. And here's the top view, and you'll notice it's fitting over there. It doesn't actually have to fit on all three views at the same time. It's only for reference. Okay? All right, so you can see in the top view here um, that it uh, does fit. It does fit the top of Goku's head, and I'm basically all set, ready to go. So this character is all set and ready to go, ready to be unwrapped and textured. So let's go ahead and create some materials. Okay, here we are back. I'm going to go ahead now and tackle the UV mapping. So I'm going to go to the, um, actually I'm going to go to the object panel and I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, Goku head. And then I'll go to the material panel and create a new material. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and call it Goku Matte. And here's the nice thing about uh, using that texture that we have. You can actually just have one material and one texture, and it can be applied to every single body part. Um, so you don't have to create multiple materials and multiple textures. So now I'm going to go to the texture panel, create the texture. And I'll come down here. It's an image or movie. I'm going to say I could go to open, but I'm going to go here to the image browser and choose the image. Then I'm going to come over here to the UV window and load up the image. And there it is. Okay, so now um, I'm going to look in my 3D window that's textured, and I can see the textures being applied to the top, but I can't see. Uh, I have some dark faces over here, which is really hard to tell what's going on. So I'm going to quickly hop out of edit mode. I'm going to select my light and I'm going to change it. You'll see that the reason why those were dark was because the light wasn't hitting those faces. So the best tip here, um, this actually came from a student in class, um, select your light, come over here to the right hand side and choose the lamp panel and just change your lamp from a point lamp to a hemi lamp. And a hemi lamp is, is, is a hemisphere. Um, and so it basically lights up everything nice and evenly, and you can even see the bottom. Um, it's just a really nice uh, lamp to use while you're texturing. And that way you don't have to duplicate uh, point lamps and have about eight of them or anything like that. All right, I'm going to hop back into edit mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now switch to face mode. So in my 3D view, I'm going to press Control, Tab, and I'm going to switch to face mode. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the character's um, I'm going to select all of the uh, faces. I'm going to unwrap by pressing U and I'm going to choose unwrap. And here they all are over here in my UV window. I'm now going to uh, scale them down. And again, this is another time-saving tip from a student. Um, so now that I've got all of them scaled down, because uh, some of these faces are the exact same size. So his face is the same size as his left and his right side. The only thing that's a different size are the top of the head and the bottom of the head. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to grab them, bring them over to his face, and I'm just, just taking a look over here, and let's see, something like that. Let's see. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and rotate. Okay, so now I have my UVs here all selected, and I'm just going to rotate them until it looks right. So I'm just watching keeping an eye on my 3D window, and I'm just pressing R and rotating the UVs until his face looks correct. So the face looks correct, but you can see that my UVs um, don't. They, they, they're vertical. They're kind of stretched a little bit. So no big deal. All I need to do now is I'm going to press A to deselect all my vertices, or all my UVs. I'm going to box select um, this corner, this top right corner, and then I'm going to press G, and I'm going to grab them and just move them to the right position. Then I'll press A to deselect, B to box select, G to grab them, 
and set up the bottom right hand corner of his face. Again, A to D select, B to box select, and G. And it's really, really, really the same thing over again. So D select, box select, grab, and there we go. Okay, so that's his face. And you can see, of course, it's all set up on all sides, which is a little bit much. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to select the top face. So with the top face selected in the 3D window, I'll come over to the UV window and I'll press A to select all. Then I'll press G to grab and you'll see that I'm moving the UV face right up here for the top of his head, which is pure black. And then I'll just deselect and then I'll just right click and select each of the individual four UVs. So just right click select and just move them and here you go. So the top of his head is pretty much set up. Okay, now I need to figure out which one of these faces is actually the front face. So what I'm doing is, notice that I have my front view down here. I'm just going to right click and select the front face. And you can see this is the front face right here, my 3D view. And this is another advantage to you having multiple views available to you. So I can see from a front view, but I can also see from a perspective view. Okay, so now I'm ready to do the sides. Um, I'm going to take this. This is his this is his right side. So I'm going to take that, come over to my UV window, select all by pressing A twice. And I'm just going to go ahead and press G and grab, and here we go. Once I get it over there, again, I, I like to zoom in. And just select the four UVs and keep going. And it's really repetitive. It's just this all over again and again and again. And just making sure that everything um, lines up. And it looks like, um, let's see, it looks like I did the wrong one. So, real simple, I'm just going to grab it, slide it back over here, and there we go. Okay, so that's looking better in the 3D view. There we go. Okay, so again, just do this, set all four of your UVs, you make a mistake, just keep checking all of your windows. So that way, if you do make a mistake, hopefully you can catch it right away. Okay, so that side is looking good. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this side. And the nice thing about this kind of a project is that it becomes, um, it becomes much easier very quickly. And so you can start moving uh, considerably faster. Don't forget to save, of course. And there we go. Last one is the bottom face, of course. Grab it, and there you go. And even though we won't see the bottom of the uh, face or the bottom of the head, it's still a good idea to go ahead and be thorough. OK, so that is it. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to make a um, Part two, let's see how long. So this one's coming in at 13 minutes. I think that's plenty enough time for this first part. Um, I'm going to go ahead and in part two, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mo cover modeling the torso. And then in a small part three, I'm going to cover um, modeling the hair, the extra detail of the hair.